Peace. So what's up, preppers? Um, troll prepper again. Um, the returns are in on the Iowa caucuses. And uh, good news is that Ron Paul has 21% of the vote. Some also good news if you're a Mitt Romney guy or um, um, Rick Santorum guy, which I don't know, I might be convinced to become either one of those guys, guy, is that they're tied actually at the top 25%, which doesn't leave much for everybody else. Um, Newt seems to think it's a victory uh, with his, uh, what was it, 11 percent or some crap like that. Rick Perry's uh, walking home with his tail between his legs. Um, well, I kind of figured he would. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, the debate performances were just hideous. Those were awful. You can't fail every class <laughs> we've ever graded you by and <laughs> expect to get an A in the class now, can we? So, uh, and um, Michelle Bachman, she got like 5%. Yeah, she went from here to zero in a damn hurry, didn't she? I don't know if it's that much of a hurry. She has crazy eyes. <laughs> I like a lot of what she stands for. Or stood for. She probably still stands for those things. But she always seemed a little on edge and a little desperate. And I think that how that went. But, um, anyway, neither here nor there. It is what it is. Um, it's just a caucus. And it's just the first of many primaries. So, we'll see what happens in New Hampshire. But at the moment, we've got Rick Santorum, who nobody considered, even in the top tier, until a few days ago. Tied with Romney at the pinnacle of the caucus in Iowa. Nobody saw it coming. Brilliant. And Ron Paul's right there at the top as well. I mean, the the gap, I mean, it's, it's tiny. I don't, I don't even know if everything's been completely reported yet. I mean, these, these are the numbers as, as I've heard today. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see where all that is. But uh, anyway, I don't know. It's, it's, and it's a really interesting process, isn't it? All right, so anyway, we'll check back in. I have uh, a couple more videos coming up in the next day or two. So, see ya.